Hi, this is the Fear of the 42nd Dynasty Dynasty here, back with um, another mini um, documentary. And today I'm going to be doing the truth behind Toots Ank Amun's curse. Mm -hmm. Anyway, speculation basically how did it start? How was Carter brought Ganeri with him to Egypt soon after it was eaten by a cobra, the symbol of Egyptian royalty seen um, on the bottom right? It was interpreted as Carter's house being broken into by a royal cobra. Soon after the opening of the tomb, a messenger was sent on an errand by Carter and reported to hear a faint, almost human cry. Objects also bore cursed inscriptions, as once we were found in the tomb, of course. Uh, the curse claimed 11 victims in total, and a list of victims. George Herbert, the fifth Earl of Carnarvon, seen uh, sitting in the chair at the bottom. George J. Gould I, Prince Ali Kamel Fami Bey of Egypt, Colonel the Honourable Aubrey Herbert, MP, Sir Archibald Douglas Reed, Sir Lee Stack, A.C. Mace, the Honourable Mervyn Herbert, Captain the Honourable Richards Bethel, Richard Luttrell Plinkinson Bethel, his father, and of course Howard Carter. And now we move on to the facts of the case. Uh, it first came about with the death of George Hibbs, the 5th Earl of Carnarvon, who died on the 5th of April 1723, uh, just a few days after the burial chamber was opened, actually, uh, who died after being bitten on the cheek by a mosquito, which became infected after it was cut open while shaving. In fact, when they were unwrapping the mummy, they discovered uh, the mummy had a similar... Um, a similar scar on its uh, left cheek, um, which can be seen in the um, colour photograph here, um, except um, uh, they couldn't tell if it was the right place or not, um, because um, uh, Carnarvon has been buried for six months, so um, uh, it could just, just have been a coincidence. Uh, media interest was part partly fueled by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, who said Herbert's death was caused by an ancient spell placed on the tomb by the priests. Of course, um, they would protect the incumbents of the tomb, or not as the case may be. Carter never believed in the curse, and only eight of the 58 men who were present when the tomb and sarcophagus were opened died within 12 years. And by the way, there were no inscriptions above the door which said death shall come to anyone who opens this tomb. <laughs> anyway, um, in short, there is no curse, and there never has been. It's just been a series of coincidences. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. If you did, please like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.